if I wanted a report here, and I want a um, profit and loss statement, okay, there is a P&L statement. Now you can do what you want with it, but it doesn't it doesn't lend itself to do very much. So what I do is I export that. There's two or three ways you can do that. Notice if I hit the print button right here, this is no fast fashion way of doing it. Instead of printing it, I can print it to a file. And you can either print it as, and you've heard the old expression, ASCII. Hardly anybody uses ASCII anymore because Excel does that. Here's your comma delimited. Here's your tab. Okay, I want to cancel that because your newer software now allows you to export that. And it figures that out all by itself how to do that. Now I'm exporting this into Excel. And I want to put it into a brand new Excel workbook and hit export. And so there it is. Now, um, if you want to, you can put your own headers on it, your own footers, and everything else. That's uh, an example of QuickBooks going into Excel. And it formats it. Notice it puts all of your indentations and everything in it. Um, if you want to clean it up, if you want to change things, if you want to hide stuff, you can do all you want with it. So that's using QuickBooks going into Excel. You can export from Excel into QuickBooks. You can import and export into um, Access, Microsoft Outlook, Word, or even some third party through the internet.